All right, here you go. All right, I'm 71 years old, live in Gulf Breeze, Florida, which is Pensacola Beach. Had a friend that called me that had been fighting hepatitis C for 30 years and uh, had had the great results with Max GXL. Said he knew he still had hepatitis C, but it did not show up in the bloodstream. Well, I fought him, didn't want to go, I was a skeptic. And he finally made a deal with me that if I would try it, any money that I was out, he would rewrite me a check for that amount in 90 days. I agreed, and after two and a half weeks, I played 18 holes of golf one morning, teed off at seven, and I walked when I play. Came in, it was about 90 degrees that day, and the humidity was about 87, so it was a very miserable day to play golf. Normally, when I finish a hole of golf, I come home, uh, go to my son's porch in Florida, and then put on my swimming trunks, dive in the pool, get the sweat off, and that's it, I'm through for the day. Well, this particular day, I swam laps in my pool. I've never done it before in my life. Came and sat back down on the porch and looked down at my German Shepherd dog, whose name is Samson. I said, Samson, I'm going to have to mow that yard out there in two or three days. Might as well do it today. Not thinking about what I was doing. Went and mowed the backyard, the front yard, and I've got a rather large lot, 105, 105, and then we needed all of the area that's landscaped. Went back into the house, and the dog's looking at me like, Dad, have you gone crazy? I had not fed him, and I looked at the clock on the stove. It was 3.30. Still hadn't figured it out yet. I fed him, told him I was sorry for missing it at 12 o'clock, went and ran a load of clothes in the washer, folded them. Coming out of the washroom, I saw a pineapple upside down cake on the shelf. I said, well, I got pineapple, I got cherries, got brown sugar, I'll bake the cake. 10.30 at night, I stopped in the kitchen and I said, wait a minute, <laughs> something is going on. Yeah. So I called my buddy and I said, Dickie, I got to ask you one question. He said, what? I said, is this stuff legal? And he said, yes. Yeah, I said, yeah. then great, yeah. I'm on board. Fantastic. So uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me and many other people. Uh, well, you mentioned your son. Uh, my, my son is 31 years old, had cancer. Uh, it was, uh, they found it uh, a year ago, September. He was given four months to live without chemo, 10 months with chemo, which was June. So he was supposed to have already passed away. So in June, uh, he started taking the max, five packs a day from three packs a day that he had been taking. The doctors at MD Anderson, the cancer hospital in Houston, had thrown up their hands and told my ex-wife to take him home and make him comfortable. In other words, do what you normally yes. do for somebody that's fixing the past. And uh, since that time, he has had great results. Half of the tumor is gone. It was 23 centimeters. It's down to about half. The tentacles that were coming off of that tumor into the heart cavity, uh, and they were afraid that he was going to have a heart attack even though he was only 31. Uh, they are potentially uh, negated. He went from a 8 to a 9 points there, a 10 being the worst, to a 2.3 the last time they tested. The liver is down to a 3.1 and it was over a 9. So with the help of God and Dr. Keller, the messenger, and a lot of other people that have uh, forced me to sign up with Max. Hopefully we've done some good for my son. And uh, so I made a promise to God, Jehovah God Almighty, that if he would help me to save my son's life, that I would go anywhere that anybody called me to help anybody else. And making a promise to God, I do not want to have to look him in the eyes and break that promise. And potentially that's why I'm here tonight. Thank you.